Welcome to the West Washington live stream in association with IHSAA TV. You heard that right. We are coming to you by the way of West Washington. We have to thank, thank Craig Akers and his team for setting up the stream and allowing us to bring you the Salem and Borden game. This is the first game of the Washington County Tourney at, well you guessed it, West Washington. This is the pregame show and I'm your play-by-play -play guy, Flora, and my color commentator is the man, the myth, and part-time superhero, Carson. Craig, our cameraman tonight. Craig is our cameraman tonight, and we have a crew that are behind the scenes running the live stream. And the producer, the pusher of buttons, is Mr. Akers. We are coming live from the West Washington gym. The Lions are coming off a 47 to 57 loss at New Washington. The Lions are coming off an exciting win at home versus Mitchell. They are coming out flat in the first half, but turned on the thrusters and blasted the Blue Jackets in the second half. They won 52 to 48. Then Tuesday night, the Lions went into New Washington to face the Mustangs. The Lions cruised out to a 25 to 9 lead midway through the second quarter. But the second half was another story. The Lions went cold outside and couldn't get anything going. They lost to the Mustangs 47 to 57. Now let's get down to business. The number 13 in 1A. Born and Braves come in with a 4-2 record. They recently beat Crothersville last Saturday night, 75-50. The Brownstown, the Braves are scoring 48.5 points per game and giving up 41.8 points per game. The Braves are coached by future Hall of Famer Doc Nash, who is in his 15th year with a record of 225 and 159 record at the school. The Braves lost to the Lions at Brooks Memorial Gymnasium last year, 76-73. It was an exciting game that went back and forth before the Lions prevailed. John Harrell predicts this game in favor of the Braves, 62-37. We will see if the Lions can hold off the Braves and get a victory in this first game of the Washington County Tourney at West Washington. Now defensively, the Braves are a tenacious and never-stopping man-to-man team. They'll press full court and look to trap in the coffin corners. So, the Lions must keep the ball moving and try to keep it in the middle of the press. The Braves will also switch defenses a lot and like to run a 1-3-1 as their main zone defense. However, if they are in a 2-3 zone, watch out. They will blitz their top two guys and cause a lot of havoc at the top, usually leading to bad passes being picked and going the other way for an easy board-in bucket. Offensively, the Braves will push the ball in transition. They look to push it to number three, junior guard, Drex Fuller Tucker, number 21 junior guard Kaysen, Na Kaysen Nash, and number four senior forward Brody Kinnon are their best offensive players and won't pass up open shots in the open court. In the half court, they are willing to be patient and the Lions must be prepared to grow to guard for long periods of time. They crash boards hard, the Lions must box out, block out, Borden will run and pass and cut off offense with five players out above the three-point line. Now, this is keys to a Salem Lion victory. The Lions will need to play disciplined defense. The Lions must control the tempo and don't panic. In the half court, the Lions must have great shot selection. No quick threes, only take those after a kick out or a ball reversal. The Lions must stay in front, get in gaps, get to the help side, and jump to every pass. The Lions must crash the boards hard and block out. The Lions must contest all shots but have good under control closeouts. And finally, the Lions must take care of the ball and limit our turnovers. This has been the, the pregame show. We'll see you at the start of the first quarter. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. 
this initiative continues to build. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. High school sports fans, welcome back to Game Time, to Pure Spirits, to Pure Sports. Welcome back to High School Sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is Game Time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. Good yeah. cheer. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the All right, and welcome back here to the first game of the Washington County tur Holiday Tournament with the Salem Lions and the uh, Borden Brave. Right now, I'm going to read out your starters for the Lions. Number four is senior guard Justin Stevenson. Number 11, senior guard Hayden Bowman. Number 13, junior forward Jaden Cheatwood. Number 15, senior guard Caleb Tucker. Number 30, senior guard Holden Collins. The Braves tonight will start. Number three, 6 0 junior guard Derek Fuller Tucker. Number four, six foot senior forward Brody Kennedy. Number 11, junior guard Alex Schuler. Number 21, junior guard Kasem Nash. And number 24, senior forward AJ Agnew. To quote a great man, when the lion decides to fight, it, it wins. It's time to go hunting. So who do you got predicting in this matchup for? Who who will win tonight? Um Personally, I mean it could it could go either way, you never know. Yeah. You know, I got the Lions from the last game they lost to New Washington, yeah. so they back for a revenge. 
and then they came off a good game against uh, the Mustangs. So that's fair. That's fair. So I think we're gonna have a good one. All right, and here we're about ready for a tip-off. We got number four, Justin Stevenson, tipping it for the Lions. It looks like. Number 31 for the Braves, Judd Nissy, up for the tip-off as well. Ball's up, here we go. Braves have the ball. Number 31 has it for the Braves. Passes to corner to number three. Gets in the post. Number 24 back out in the corner. Going to move the ball around the perimeter. Keep moving. Gets in the post. Number 11 misses that shot. Number 11, Hayden Bowman comes down with the rebound for the Lions. Jaden Sheetwood going down the court and misses the shot. Number 11 pulls that one down for the Braves. 21 fakes the three, dribbles in, gets tipped. Number three comes down with it, goes up for the layup. And makes it. Number 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it for the Lions. Number four, Justin Stevenson has it. Passes it to number 11 for Salem. Screen by number 15, Caleb Tucker gets trapped, throws it away. Number three has it, goes in for the Another layup. Another layup. Throws number it number away. Three, number three Porter has it. Great 11. Goes in for the layup. Jaden Cheatwood has it. See if the Lions can put up some points on the board here on this drive. Hayden Bowman and that's pass is going to be off the mark. Going to go to the Braves. I have number 21, Kaysom Nash taking it out. Number 31 gets it. In the corner to De Derek. Number three has the ball again. Now back to 21, Kaysom Nash. 24 has it. Back to 31. He's going to dribble and get it. Number 11 in the post. He's going to go up for, up the for layup. another layup and made it. Score 6 0. Braves in the lead. Number 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it for the Lions. He'll bring it up. Pass number 15, Caleb Tucker. He'll drive in, kick it out to Jaden Cheatwood for three. That'll be good. Three Lions point from on Jaden Cheatwood. Lions on the board with three points from that Jaden Cheatwood. Number 11 has it, top of the key, 31, 24 now has it, 21, that 3, in the corner, the pass around the perimeter, looks like they're looking in the post, can't get it there, get a screen, finally gets it in the post, number 31, kicks out 21, case of Nash, Goes Off. up for a shot, but he misses. Back up to 21 again, and he... Stolen by Justin Stevenson. Going fast up the court, but he'll get fouled by the Braves. That foul will be on 31, Jude Mussey. Missy. The Lions will take the ball out of bounds. Number 13, Jane Cheatwood for the Lions to take it out. Pass it number four, Justin, Justin Stevenson. Stevenson. 13 for the Lions has the ball, passes it to number four. Judge Stevenson trying to make something happen here. Braves playing nice defense. Be stoned by number three and fouled by number 13, Jaden Cheatwood for the Lions. Foul number 
Ball is back in and number 31 for the Braves. Passes it back to three. If three's going to drive. He's going to get the ball tipped from behind and it's going to be a Lions ball. Nice tip from behind from Justin Stevenson. Number four, Justin Stevenson take out for the Lions. Pass number 13, Jaden Cheatwood. Pass number 11, Hayden Bowman in the corner to Caleb Tucker, number 15. Jaden Cheatwood has it. Number 11, Hayden Bowman, he's going to drive in, shoot it. It's going to get blocked, but it is going to be a foul on 31, Jude Messi. Missy. Missy. So Hayden Bowman will go to the line to shoot two. Foul number 31, Missy, that's his second, the team second. On the line, number 11, Hayden Bowman. His first one is no Missy good. First. Number 32, Xander Keith will come in for the Braves. For 31, Judd Missy. Messy. It's Hayden's second shot. It's and good. he makes it. Number three drives the ball down the court. He's going to get right back in the corner. He'll shoot the two. It'll be no good. Rebound by number 32. Be fight for the ball. They get it back. Braves are still going at it. Number 24 passes the ball to 11. And he misses the shot. The ball is taken by number 4. And back down the court by number 13, Jaden Sheetwood. The score, Braves 6, Lions 4. 3 minutes and 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Holden Collins has it from number 30. The Lions cuts in. Be out of bounds. Couldn't, Justin couldn't get a hand on it. Braves now with the ball. Number three, Derek Fuller Tucker will bring up. Pass number 32, 21 at the top of the key. He'll drive in, kick it in the corner. Number 11, back to 21. He'll drive in, shoot the two. No good, but there will be a foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul on number 11, Hayden Bowman. He hits first, team second. 21. Chasm Nash up to shoot. He makes it. Number four, Brody Kennedy will come in for number three, Derek Fuller at Tucker. Up for number two. And he it's makes good. that. Push the Braves lead number Braves eight. Lions four. Jane Cheatwood now has the ball. Levin Hayden Bowman has it going to drive in. It's tangled up, but it'll be a foul. They'll take out out of bounds. Number four, Brody Kennedy with that foul for the Braves. Passing 15, Caleb Tucker. In the corner, Jaden Cheatwood for three. It's good. Lions are down one now. Line seven, Braves eight. Deep three from Nash. No good. Levin Hayden Bowman with that rebound for the Lions. Hayden Bowman now with the ball screen by number four, Justin Stevenson. He's going to drive in, kick it, Holden Collins. He's going to shoot the three. And it's he makes good. It. There we go. Rattles that one in. Score 10 8. Lions in the lead. Braves have the ball. 24 has it. They're going to pass around the perimeter. 24 is going to drive in, shoot the two. It's going to be good and a foul. 24 is going to drive in, shoot the two. It's going to be good and a foul. It's going to be on number 30, oh, Holden Collins. Collins be all tied up here. 24. AJ will be at the line to shoot one more. 
He misses that one. 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it. Pass number 11, Hayden Bowman. Their okay, drive Bowman in. Goes in. And. There'll be a charge. Well, that'll be on number 11, Hayden Bowman. Offensive foul. Number, number two, four, seven, Nick seven, Ingram goes five, in for number two, 11, Hayden Bowman. Number 11, bring it up for the Braves. Be screened by 24. He'll drive in. He'll shoot it and rattle in. Score 10 12. Braves in the lead. Number 13, Jaden Cheatwood will bring it up for the Lions. Pass from 30, Holden Collins will be tipped out of bounds by number four, Brody Kennedy, for the Braves. The ball will stay with the Lions. Caleb Tucker, number 15, will bring it out. Pass to number two, Nick Ingram, number four, Justin Stevenson. He'll drive in, he'll kick it out. And it will be a charge. The offensive foul on number four, Justin Stevenson. Braves will bring up the ball. Be Braves 12, Lions 10. One minute and nine seconds left in the first quarter. Be foul on number four, Justin number Stevenson. Four, Justin Stevenson Looks like 33, Jackson Lions Bruff will come in for the Lions for number four, Justin Stevenson. Number 21, Nash will take it out, pass to number 11. Get it back to 21. Fakes the handoff, spin move, and he'll Missed the two-pointer, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. That was number 13, James, with his 21, Kaysom Nash will go to the line to shoot two. They are now in the bonus. Makes his first one. 21, Noah Rise will come in for number 13, Jaden Cheatwood. He'll make his second one. Braves will put on a full court pressure here. Gets in number 30, Holden Collins. He'll bring it up for the Lions. Pass number 15, Caleb Tucker. And two, Nick Ingram has it. Makes it pass. Gets Holden Collins. He shoots a two. No good. Fight for the rebound. Braves come up with it. 21 pass has number it. Pass 21 goes up for a layup and he makes it. Be timeout by the Lions. 16 Braves, 10 Lions will be back after this short commercial break. Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. And we are back. Number two, Nick Ingram will pass in for the Lions. Braves will have a full court pressure. 15, Caleb Tuck has it passing number two, Nick Ringham. 21, Noah Rising. Holden Collins, number 30. Tries to get in Jackson Bruff. It's tip. And a steal for number 21. He's in for another layup and he makes it. Score 18 10. Braves in the lead. Nick Ingram has the ball again, goes back. Caleb. And he passes the ball to Caleb Tucker, number 15. 30, Holden Collins has it. And there'll be a foul on 24, A.J. 
Agnew, AJ Agnew. <laughs> Number two, Nick Ingram will take in for the Lions with 9.4 seconds left in the fourth. I mean, first quarter. Caleb Tucker with a layup rolls in and out. Number 21. Oh, and he misses that layup. 21, Casey Nash with that layup and misses it. Be 18 Braves, 10 Lions. We'll be back after this short commercial break. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. And we are back for the second quarter of play. Lions with the ball. Lions will go with number 15, Caleb Tucker, number 33, Jackson Breath, number 30, Holden Collins, 13, Jane Cheatwood, and number four, Justin Stevenson. Four. The second quarter. And 30 Holding Collins has it. That's a trap. They get out of it. Number four. Justin Stevenson has it. 13. Jane Cheatwood has it. Back to Justin Stevenson. Back to Jane Cheatwood. Number 30. Holding Collins has it. Step back from the corner. No good. Number 24 for the Braves. Gets the ball back. 24 with a wide open three pointer. Misses that one. Jackson Bruff gets it. Passes it to Justin. And Jaden Sheetwood has the, now has the ball. And pass it around the perimeter. In the middle to Caleb Tucker to Jackson Bruff. And that'll be stolen by the Braves. Jackson Bruff with the steal that'll be tipped and he'll come down with it. 13, Jaden Cheatwood with the ball. A pass 15. from Holden. Jaden Cheatwood has it, pulls up for two, no good. The 18 Braves, no, 18 Borden, 10 Lions in the corner. Braves gets it in the middle, 24, 32 with the three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Nash, 21, he'll go up with it for two, no good. Rebound again for 24, and I'll finally go in. So Braves now 20, Lions 10. Number four, Justin Stevenson has it. He'll drive in. Pass nice Jackson pass. Ruff and a layup. That was a nice pass there from Justin Simpson. B Lions 12, Braves 20. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. Pass it around the perimeter. Logan passes the guy Number in the corner. Three now with the ball and tip from behind by Justin Stevenson. James Sheetwood back with the ball. Number thirteen for Salem. Number thirty, Holden Collins has it. Dribble around. He's going to drive in. Pass to Jackson Bruff, but he'll get fouled. It'll be. On 24, AJ Ag Agnew, 
will be subbed in 31, 33, and 11 for the Braves. And number 11, Hayden Bowman will come in. For number 30, Holden Collins. Number 11, Hayden Bowman has it past Justin Stevenson. In the middle, the Jaden Cheatwood spin move. Go up the two, no good. Fight for the rebound, number 11, Holden, Hayden Bowman has it. Jaden Cheatwood has that top of the key. Hayden Bowman's gonna make a move, shoot the two, no good. Just, Justin Stevenson with a tip back in. Score 14-20. Lions are working back in this one. Braves now with the ball. Get, call the play from the coach. Gets it in the middle, 24 on the low, 20, 33, no good. Fight for the rebound. And it'll be Braves ball. Twenty-one. Kasem Nash will come in for the Braves for thirty-two. Zayner Keith. They'll get it in in the corner. Kasem Nash pull it back out to the top of the key. Lions playing some solid defense right here. Justin Stevenson with a steal. steal. They take it in for the layup Another for the Lions. Another point for the Lions. Number 31 from Borden has the ball. Be 20 Braves, 16 Lions. They'll pass around the perimeter, trying to look for a man down low. Have one down low, gets in the middle, number 11. We'll get in the corner, 31. Number 21 goes up for a shoot and he misses. Justin Stevenson now with the rebound. Pass to number 13, Jaden Cheewood. 15, Caleb Tucker has it. He's going to drive in, kick it, Jaden Cheewood on the baseline. And it's going to be out of bounds. Braves will have the ball. Number 31, Jude Messi will take it up. Messi. In the corner, Kasem Nash, he shoots a two. That'll be good. Braves 22, Lions 16. Back Jayden, to Jayden Sheetwood. He'll bring the ball up for the Lions. Number 11, Hayden Bowman will have it screened by, by 33, Jackson Bruff. Back to Jaden Cheatwood and Jackson Bruff. Justin Stevenson now has it on the wing. He's going to drive in. And he's going to pass it out. 15, Caleb Tucker. For Justin Stevenson has it. Get a screen. Jaden Cheatwood has it for three in there. Be Braves 22, Lions 19. Braves have it in the corner. They'll get to the top of the key. Braves have passed it around. They'll get it to Nash for three. It's good. At the end of the first quarter, he had eight points, and he's tacking on a couple more. 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it. Pass them four, Justin Stevenson. You get a screen from Caleb Tucker. He'll go in. That'll be good. And a blocking foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot one more. What Justin Simpson will visit the free throw line for one more. It'll be Borden Braves 25, Lions 21. Stevenson that free throw will be it. good. Lions will be 22, down by three. 
Back to number 31 for Borden. The pass around the perimeter. Gets it in the middle, back out. Ball's back in and... Lines with some solid defense here. 21, Kaysom Nash for three. That'll be good. Deep three from Kaysom Nash, and he'll nail that one. 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it. It'll be off the foot. Be out of bounds. Be Braves ball. Be 28, Braves 22, Lions with one minute and one second left in the second quarter. 21, no rising comes in for number 13, Jaden Cheatwood. The Braves will now inbound, inbound the 31. Jason Nash for three, he's feeling lucky. And that one will roll in. Number 15, Caleb Tucker with the ball. Pass to number 11. He goes in and... He'll get fouled by... I believe 31, Jude Messi. Messi. Number three, Derek Fuller Tucker will come in for the Braves for 31. Jude Missy. Number 11 up to shoot. And he misses. Case Nash fakes a three from about the half court line. Hold it for the last second shot here. Braves with the ball. Case and Nash with it. Case and Nash with the oh, three. It's in. And that's the end of the Here's second quarter. He'll go Braves in. That'll be good. And a blocking we'll foul. So it goes in line to shoot break. one more. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat 
at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Commissioner, holiday time. Lots of tournaments, lots of uh, one-day extravaganzas, irrespective of the sports. And so, you know, it's going to be one of those kinds of times where people are just having as much fun as they can. And you're out there having fun. And one of the things we remind people is when you go to a game, sportsmanship is a real thing, and we'd like to see it because these are officials who aren't full-time. They're not uh, doing this for a living. They're doing this to make an extra buck and to help kids have some fun. So I want to underscore how important that is for everybody involved. I think that's exactly right, Coach. And, you know, I, often for me, perspective comes to mind when I think about officials and when you look about the parents, the student athletes, the coaches, uh, the fans. Uh, and it's about keeping perspective of what, what we're trying to do uh, in an environment the student athletes get to grow up in. And, you know, officials don't make a primary living as a, a, a and as a matter of fact, they really only make gas money in a lot of places, you know, less than $100 to officiate a varsity basketball contest. But they choose to do that because the game really meant something to them at some point in their lives. And, you know, they want to give back. And, you know, a lot of our ex-athletes, former players, former coaches even out officiating for us now. And, and they just want to do it so kids can have an opportunity to play just like they were able to do uh, many years ago in many cases. So, you know, perspective is so important when we look at games that, that kids play. Well, I think we, we take it way too personally. I think we forget this simple concept that everybody in between those black lines, everybody along the side, scores, bench, benches, all that other stuff, everyone on the court, everyone on the benches, everyone at the scores table will make a mistake. Everyone will make one. Uh, hopefully not very many, but they'll make one. Coaches will make mistakes. Kids will make mistakes. Timer will hit the wrong button. Score will get the wrong uh, the wrong player. Officials, yes, they make mistakes. They, they really, really do. And since we're trying to be teaching kids lessons, we don't want the lesson to be that when things don't go your way, you go ballistic and act like an idiot. Not to, you know, maybe cut to the chase there. That's one thing we're not trying to teach. We're trying to teach how to understand and accept problems as they come and adjust and do the best you can. Well said, Coach. You know, it's just so important to keep that in, in mind. And, and it is about adjusting. It's about learning the life lessons. You know, one of the things I often try to say is, you know, when you think about sport, we have a game that we all love, whether it's whatever it is that we offer, but it's it was officiated by human beings, created by human beings, played by human beings, coached by human beings, and watched mm-hmm. by human mm-hmm. beings. And, 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 and I often say only one perfect person walked this earth, and my mom's not sure. officiating tonight. So <laughs> you know, we need to make sure that we keep it all in perspective along the way and understand that human beings are the imperfect much as we try not to be, but they are, and then mistakes are made. Well, the issue nowadays is you uh, at the association find it very, very difficult to find uh, the right number of officials. You're compromised in terms of football and basketball tournaments because you're, you're literally running out of officials to officiate these kinds of events. That, that's exactly right, Coach. And, and you know, and so far we're, we're working hard to get more officials in, and you can go to our website at ihsaa.org and sign up to become official, and we love people when they do that. But, you know, regionally uh, we have some real shortages in the state. You know, if you go to the northwest uh, corner of the state of Indiana, we have a, a real struggle to get football officials. In other places it may be track and field or soccer. And, you know, it's still um, – 
you know, there are still areas where we have a lot of officials. Uh, we still have a lot of basketball officials in the state, but we can always use one more. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA. It's Paul Nighting. This is our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA related. Commissioner, holidays here. Have a happy holiday. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, best of luck to everybody involved with the IHSAA. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Nidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. All right, so the score right now is 34 Braves, 22 Lions. Clock's winding down for the start of the third quarter. All right, Flora, how do you think the first half went? I mean, I think it was really intense. I mean, they were close, I mean, like all throughout the entire game. It was really, it was back to back to back to back. Yeah, I agree. It was a close one, a very physical game. So let's see, second half is kind of like the first half and hopefully the Salem Lions can keep up with them and uh, kind of do a little bit better this half. Yeah, come out on top. Braves will have the ball here. Passing in number 31. Jude Miss. 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 Judd Miss. Yeah, Judd Missy. Yeah. A pass to number 31 from number 11. It'll be screened by number 3. Back to number 11. Try to pass around the Prima for the find the shot they want. Stolen by 13. Jaden Cheatwood from Salem going back. All right, Lions bring it up. Pass number 11, Hayden Bowman. He'll dribble in and get it. Justin Stevenson, back door, makes layup. The layup. The Lions 24, Braves 31. Braves with the ball now. A pass from number 31. Three has it. Gets 21. Kaysom Nash, their leading scorer right now. There'll be a foul 
It'll go the other way. Be on number three, Derek Fuller Tucker charge. Oh, number three, Derek Fuller Tucker first. That's number 11, Holt. Hayden Bowman to number four, Justin Stevenson. And the man will bring it up to be Justin Stevenson. Well, no, Jaden Cheatwood gets it. Two nice pass from Caleb Tucker, number 11, Hayden Bowman in for the layup. Lions 26, Braves 34. Lions are playing, playing solid defense on a couple of possessions. Nice job from, by 31, Jackson Breath to walk up. Casey Nash almost got a turnover there. Pass it around the perimeter. Morgan is still trying to find a way in. Get there in we the go, pass it to number 21. Number 11, makes shoot the three, no good. The ball goes into Jaden Sheetwood as he drives it back up the court and passes it to number 33, Jackson Bruff. Number 11, Hayden Bowman for three, in and, and out. Misses. Borden now with the ball. 31 has it, no good. Justin Stevenson with the rebound. He'll bring it up for the Lions, he'll go fast. Number 15, kicks it to the corner, Justin Stevenson. Back Kelt to Tucker. number 15. Kelp Tucker now has it. And back to Jaden Sheetwood. They're gonna slow it up here. Yep. 15, and Caleb Tucker for three, no good. Rebound by Jackson Bruff. And the ball goes out. Lions 26, Braves 34. Number 15, Caleb Tucker has it for Justin Stevenson in the corner to Jaden Cheatwood. Number four, Justin Stevenson has it. Justin Stevenson has it. 15, Caleb Tucker has it. Ball is back to Hato. And stolen. Jack's stolen from number 21 on Borden. He makes a shot. Nice Euro step. Number four on Salem, Justin Stevenson. Brings the ball back in. Nice. And makes floater by Justin Stevenson. Score 36 28. Morden is still in the lead. Stolen by number 11, Hayden Bowman. He'll bring it up to court. Spin move. And, and he'll get fouled hard. He'll get fouled hard by number three, Derek Fuller Tucker. Number 11, Hayden Bowman will go to the line to shoot two. Miss his first one. And he'll miss his second one. Casey Nash with the rebound. Number three, Derek Fuller Tucker will go to the line to shoot two. Be on number four, Justin Stevenson. Look like on that one, Justin went straight up. But the rest of down on the court, they probably seen something that we didn't see. That shot will be good. Second shot will be good. And he gains Borden another two points as the ball is back to Jaden Sheetwood. Bring it up for the Lions. 
screen by Hayden Bowman. He'll get trapped, get out of it. Hayden Bowman now has it. He'll drive in. And he'll kick it number 15, Caleb Togo. He'll drive in, shoot the two. It'll be no good. It'll be a foul pushing the back by 31, Jude. Judd Missy. Thank you. You're welcome. Number 32, uh, Xander Keith will come in. For number 31, Judd Missy. Jaden Chi will take out for the Lions. It'll be a kick ball. Stay with the Lions. Thirty-three. Jackson Breath has it. Gets to Jaden Chiwood in the corner. Hayden Bowman has it. Try to make some have past fifteen. Caleb Tucker corner. Justin Stevenson. He'll go in and he'll get fouled. So Justin Stevenson will go to the line to shoot two. Now, number three, Derek Fuller, on number three, Derek Fuller Tucker. Tucker be his third team fourth it'll be good first one will be good he'll go up for it. a second one second one's good that push the lines 30 Braves 38 Braves now with the ball no passing around the perimeter. Ball is back in by number three. Be a timeout. Braves will be back at this short commercial break. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. All right, we are back. Lions 30, Braves 38, with three minutes and one seconds left in the third quarter. Get it into 32, Up and it'll be a foul. First one will be no good. Keith misses. Out for another. Nope, for a second one. This is no again. Good. Justin this Stevenson is. with that rebound. Get it, Jaden Cheatwood. Cross to Jackson Bruff. He goes in and he'll get jump ball. I thought it was a foul, but be a jump ball, be a Lions ball. Justin Stevenson has a pass to 13. Jaden Cheatwood for three, no good. Back to number three on Borden as he drives the ball back and makes it. Forward, Justin Stevenson has it passes it. Jane Cheatwood. Justin Stevenson has it in the corner of the Caleb Tucker. Justin Stevenson for three. No good. Rebound by Hayden Bowman. Back out to Jaden Cheatwood for three. No good. It looked like his foot was on the line there, but they didn't call it. For three. 
And that'll be good from Taysom Nash. Looked like a little push off there. Be a timeout by the Lions. We'll be back at this short commercial break. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. We right. are back, Salem versus, Salem versus Borden. Score 43-30. Borden is still in the lead. Casey Nash with that three-pointer. Kind of looked like a little push-off there, but they didn't call it. He nails the three-pointer, so it pushes the Braves up by a little bit more. Four, Justin Stevenson has it past 13. Jaden Cheatwood. Justin Stevenson now has it back to Jaden Cheatwood. Caleb Tucker, number 15. In the post, the holding Hayden Bowman, and he'll get fouled. Number three, Derek Fuller Tucker. That'll be his fourth foul. Number four, Brody Kennedy will come in for Derek Fuller Tucker. Number 30 in for number 33 on Salem. Number 15, Caleb Tucker has it. Pass to 11, Hayden Bowman. Screened by Jaden Cheatwood. Pass around the Hayden front. Hayden is back at it again. Goes up and misses. Okay, some Nash has it here. He'll bring it in all the way in. No yeah. good. Fight for the rebound. Justin Stevenson now with the ball. He'll bring it up, pull it back out. Colin Collins has it. Hayden Bowman, he'll pop the three. No good. Number 11 will shoot the three. No good. Rebound. A 24. No good. Fight for another rebound. And it'll be a foul on the ground. Be foul on number four, Justin Stevenson. 21, Noah Risen. In for number 11. Oh, sorry, in for number four, Justin Stevenson. So 21 has stolen by Caleb Tucker, and it will be a foul on Kaysom Nash. 21. Ball Alert. back to Jaden Sheetwood. Clock winding down here in the third quarter. Caleb Tucker with that screen. Caleb Tucker in the middle has it past 21. No rising. He'll shoot the three. No good. Oh my gosh. That was a boy's <laughs> track. That was bad. <laughs> Hey, you know we all have voice cracks, okay? <laughs> Number 11 with that ball. 21 in case Nash will bring it up for the Braves. Number 11 will have it. Looks like they'll wind down the clock. And no rising with the foul. It'll be Lions 30, Braves 43. 
and a layup by number 24. Another Hold few on. points. Hold on, Colin from half court, no good. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. All right, and your leading scorer for the Braves is 21, Nash with 27, and Justin Seeps in number four with 13 for the Lions. Nash makes up half of the Braves' points and then followed by that number three, Fuller Tucker with eight. And number six, Agner with six. And number 11 with four. So that is your stats for the Braves. 13, number 14, Jet Stevenson with four. Number 11, Hayden Bowman with three. Uh, Caleb. No, number 33, Jackson Bruff with two, and 13, Jane Cheatwood with nine. There are all your stats for the Lions. Braves now with the ball. They head in and go up for a layup. They miss. Number four. Justin Stevenson with that rebound. Cheatwood has the ball again. Nice Justin pass and Justin Stevenson misses that three. The Lions 30, Braves 45. The screen and Nash will tack on another one. Four, Justin Stevenson has it. He'll take it in the middle. Nice job by Justin Stevenson. And he'll tap on another one. Full court pressure by the Lions. Casey Nash now with it. He'll run the court. Pass number four. Reverse layup. No good. Holden Collins with that rebound. Holden Collins with for the three. And no he good. misses, number 24, passes to 21 on Borden. Nash goes in again and ma makes it. Number 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it. Fifteen, Caleb Tucker has it, backs his man down, and it'll be a foul. So Caleb Tucker will go to the line to shoot to number 24, A.J. Agner, will have his third foul. He'll miss his first one. Substitution line will be number 33, Parker Brown. Number 33, Jackson Bruff, will come in. Or he'll stay at the bench right now, but he will come in for the Lions. And he'll miss his second one. Jason Nash has it. Goes up for another and makes it. 13, Jaden Cheatwood has it. Timeout. Lions will be back at this short commercial break. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. 
With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Some people see a huddle in the locker room. We see a second classroom. Some see a student athlete on the court. We see a future leader in the community. You see, high school sports in Indiana are special. That's because they're about learning and growing, not just winning and losing. Fans, I'm Commissioner Paul Nidig. Support education-based athletics in Indiana by buying a ticket to your high school's next athletic event. Wow. All right, and welcome back. Five minutes and 47 seconds. We're going to start there for the fourth quarter. Lions 32, Braves 51. Number 13, Jaden Cheatwood with the ball. Before Justin Stevenson now has it. Number 11, Hayden Bowman has it. He'll Goes drive back in. in. And a pass to number two, Nick Ingram. Goes in and misses. Nash has the ball once again. And number 11 goes up for sh and no. It'll be a travel. Sheetwood back with the ball. Number 13, Janet Cheatwood with the ball. Nick Ingram in the corner with it. Pass to... It'll be a kick ball, so it'll stay with the Lions. Thirteen, Jaden Cheatwood with the ball. Pass to number eleven, Hayden Bowman. And that'll be a good two by the Braves. Number four, Justin Stevenson now with it. Screen by number two, Nick Ingram. Passing them to Nick Ingram. In the corner, number 11, Hayden Bowman. And he'll walk. Be a travel on number two, Nick Ingram. Braves will get the ball back. It'll be a foul on number four, Justin Stevenson. Oh, no, that'll be offensive foul. Number four, Brody Kennedy. Number 13, Jaden Cheatwood will have it past number four, Justin Stevenson. 13, Justin, Jaden Cheatwood has it. Screened by number 15, Caleb Tucker. Caleb Tucker for three. No and good. And misses. 21 added again. One case of Nash has it. Pass number 11. Who drives the baseline? Kicks out number four. 24 at the top of the key. AJ Agnew. Case of Nash has it. Jackson is on him today. 32 back in. Passes to number 11. 32 now has it back to 11. Back to Case of Nash for the layup. That's good. Thirteen, Jaden Cheatwood has it. Pass number four, Justin Stevenson. Back to Jaden Cheatwood. Nice pass for three. three Good. And he makes it. Score 55-35. Back to Nash. 21. Nash has it. 
and he makes Good. another three for Borden. Thirteen. Jaden Cheatwood has it. With two minutes to go in the fourth quarter, be Braves fifty-seven, Lions thirty-five. Jane Cheatwood for three, no good. Be a foul call on number three, Jackson Bruff, or number thirty-three. Sorry. We'd like to remind everybody who is live streaming this or watching it on TV. It'll be a second game after this. I'll be Eastern Mus Musketeers in West Washington. So there'll be a second link you click on to watch that game. 31 has it for the Braves. Back to 21. As he looks for a way in, number three. Passes to number 33. Misses that. And a rebound from number three, Nick Ingram. Passes to number 15. And Jaden Sheetwood has the ball once again. He'll get... He'll get trapped in the corner. Three, three. Jackson, Jackson Bruff goes, goes up, up and he no misses. Good. Rebound. Back again. Oh, rolls in and out. Back to number three for Borden. Case of Nash for three. That's good. We'll be back after this short commercial break. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirits, to pure sports. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. We are back. Score 60-35. Borden is still in the lead. I'd like to remind you, 21 Casey Nash on Borden Braves has 40 of their 60 points. That, that, that's pretty good for any player to put up that amount of numbers. Jane Cheatwood has the ball for the Lions. Back to Nick Ingram as he finds a way in. Jackson Bruff passes to number 30. And, a and there'll be a foul called on number 15, Caleb Tucker. One minute and 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, Lions 35, Ray 60. Number 22, Luke Marsh will come in. Number 13, Jane Cheatwood. Number 15, Caleb Tucker will exit for the Lions. One case of Nash deep for three, no good. And three, Derek full, full of Tucker with that two points. Twenty-one, no rising has it. That's twenty-two. Less bowls. Twenty-one. Nick Ingram has it screened by thirty-three. Jackson Bruff. He goes in, gets fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Two, Nick Ingram with his first one will be good. The second one will be good. Braves with the ball. Nash has a deep three. That'll be good. We'll be back on this short commercial break. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our 
County. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County... Uh, we are back with a minute and nine seconds left in the game. I've just been informed 21 Taysom Nash has the Morden Holiday Tourney record for the most points in the signal game with 43. Was 41 and he has 43, so good job by him. Braves now with the ball. Full, go, full goes in for two. No good. Rebound by 33. That's good. Clock winding down here. Braves 67. Lions 37. One no rising has it. A little pass twenty two less bowls. He'll go in, and it'll be no shot. It'll be on the floor. Twenty point three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Of less bowls number twenty two will go to the line to shoot to. That one will be good. Second one will be no good. 21 no rising with that foul. There you go. He'll go to the line to shoot one and one. Number 32, Judd Missy will go to the line to shoot one and one for the Braves. 22, Wes Bowles with that rebound, pass to number two, Nick Ingram. Looks like the Borden Braves will win this one pretty big. 67 Braves, 38 Lions. And we are done, score is 67-38. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Clark? Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. We're WSR. We have all the hits from the 80s to today. We're also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. All right, welcome back to a game where in the second half it was mainly Borden Braves. Final score was 67 Braves, 38 Lions with Casem uh, Nash breaking a record. The uh, Washington County Tournament uh, count, County Tourney for holiday tourney <laughs> uh boy he said it was 41 and nash had 43 so he played a heck of a game here he was shot 43 of their 67 and fuller was behind him so them two really came to play and hayden justin stevenson came to play and hayden bowman and you know uh boy and braves they just had that one won so we'd like to say thank you to craig acres for having us here it was a blast. And uh, remember, this is the start of the second game. Just click the other link for the ones that are streaming it. We'll see, uh, the, see you at the start of this one. <laughs>